What's up guys, Ricky here with another review on the Sinestro Parallax Gold Label from McFarland Toys. Uh, so I was at Target today, ended up finding this one, um, and I kind of stopped collecting some of the DC stuff, so I actually bought this for a friend who's collecting it all. I'm gonna review it and then give it to him, but uh, looks pretty good. So the face looks nice, really good detail. I'm curious if they use the exact same head as they did on the Green Lantern Sinestro. I have that one, so I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. You have gold plastic, so it is not painted. The white is painted, and the black looks like it's probably painted as well, but the gold is just gold plastic. So um, I'm not a big fan of the gold plastic because you can tell because of the marbling in it that it is plastic, and that's kind of a bummer. Uh, you have some nice hands. As he looks, you can really tell here. So what would have really brought this out is if they would have done a wash on it, would have really brought out those details a little bit better and really made that pop. But overall, it looks pretty decent. Then you have a little effect here, which looks good. Comes with a card in the back. But overall, not too bad. Here's the first side of the package. Here's the back, and I love that imagery. Looks very, very good. Here's the side of the package. Cool. Let's open it up, see what we're looking at. Okay, here's Sinestro out of the package, and actually looks much better out of the package. So real quick, so I noticed they have a little whiteness here, so I didn't notice that when he was in the package. Uh, right, so it looks pretty good. So like I said, got good textures, good details. Looks like these are the same body mold as they did on the Green Lantern Parallax. As you can see, the cape's the exact same color as the shoulder pads. Like I said, a good wash would have really brought out the detail a lot more. So you can see there is a little gap there in his ribs or in his abdomen joint. So we'll mess with that. We'll see what, what that looks like when we start doing the articulation. But overall, not a lot to call out, like I said, on the, the paint application. Gold plastic. They painted black and white on the figure. And uh, that's that's basically what you got. So how about we get into the articulation real quick? So the head looks up actually really far. That's nice because if you want them in a flying pose, that'll be good. Up far, down pretty far. Got a nice tilt pivot, so that's good. Arms go up past 90 degrees. You have double jointed elbows, which is nice. You have wrist articulation and rotation. Uh, let's see, you have an ab crunch that goes about that far forward. Very far back. So far back that you can really expose that joint there. Then you have rotation side to side and a nice tilt. So yeah, so there's a lot of gap going on right here. Just FYI, I don't know if it'll bother most of you, but um, looks like if it would've been pushed down just a little further in, it would've looked better, but still, I think you can get it in good poses where it's not a big deal. Uh, you have legs, you can get them in the splits, get them up 90 degrees. You have double jointed knees. Then you have wrist, or sorry, ankle, articulation rotation and toe articulation as well. So overall, I think the articulation is pretty standard for McFarlane, pretty decent on the back, but yeah, like I said, you do have a little bit of gap there, but overall, I think the articulation is pretty good. So let's get into size comparison. Okay, quick size comparison. So if you look, so we have Commando Spawn in the middle. So it looks like he stands roughly the same height as the Spawn next to him. And both of those come from the Call of Duty wave. You have to the right, you have the new gold label Parallax Sinestro. It looks like Sinestro stands slightly taller, not much. Then to the far right, you have the Green Lantern Sinestro, which looks like they did similar faces. I'd like to do a closer comparison there. Then you have the Spawn 2-pack with the Batman on the far left. And then in the back, you have Doomsday. So Commando Spawn stands about seven and a quarter inches tall. Looks like regular Spawn stands about seven inches tall, so it looks like Commando Spawn's actually a quarter inch taller, or at least an eighth. It might be an eighth inch taller. And then you have Sinestro, seven and a quarter inches, and then that looks pretty good. So now let's do centimeters, 18 centimeters, a little under 18, and about 18 and a half centimeters tall if you're looking at centimeters. So I think overall, I think the size comparison looks good. Overall, it looks good. Okay, I wanted to compare these two real quick. And it looks like they did do different face sculpts, which look really nice. So I wasn't sure if they re if they reused it. But you can tell, so there's some teeth showing in this one. Not in this one. And this one just looks a little more rugged, a little more detail on it. Right, this one looks a little bit more 
basic, but I'm not sure which one I like better. I think they both look good in their own ways. So definitely like to know in the comments, uh, which face sculpt do you like the best? Okay, how about okay final thoughts on Parallax Sinestro. Uh, overall, I mean, I think it's an okay figure. So it's only $22.99 at Target right now, and it is an exclusive. So you know it's going to go up in value with time. So if you see it in Target, I'd say pick it up. I think it's a pretty good figure to have in your collection, especially if you're a Sinestro fan. As far as overall figure, um, I don't think it's anything special, to be honest with you. Um, like I said, you could benefit from a wash and a little bit of customization on the gold pieces and the or the yellow to make it look a little bit better, in my opinion. And um, yeah, other than that, it's yeah, just kind of like a kind of like your standard uh, McFarland figure. So yeah, so not too much to say about it really. Uh, but like I said, if you're a big Sinestro fan, pick it up, and it looked good in the uh, all your Green Lantern figures. So. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel. I'll keep bringing reviews, customizations, uh, reveals, etc. to you all. Um, in the meantime, have fun, and I'll see you all in the next video.